Hello again everyone, you wonderful people. Welcome back to the channel. It is a brand new video and it is the start of some daily vlogs, some daily videos that I'm planning to do. So today is actually Tuesday. Wasn't able to start them on Monday. Um, because, okay, I'm going to get into this later on, but I stayed up to watch Game of Thrones on Sunday and I was very disappointed. I was obviously stayed up late, was very, very tired. I was working that day and I took Monday as my rest day for the week. So I didn't train, didn't do any cardio, but I ate low calories, which I'm going to get to as well. So Monday, we're just not counting. Whereas we're going to be doing my six training days of the week from Tuesday to Sunday. So I thought it'd be better that I'm just going to film all those days rather than, yeah, you, you already know what, I'm saying, you know what I'm saying. So it is Tuesday. We're about to have a shower. I thought I'd give you a quick little physique update. You saw my weight, 166 something. I always forget my weight so quickly, but here we go. Little quick one. This is how we're looking. Not too bad. How's the back looking? Not too bad. So that's the physique update up and running. We're going to bring you through a full day of eating Q&As all throughout the week. That is the point of these weekly videos to kind of just show you what I'm doing every single day for a week, the week of the life. It's in the title. That's the plan. So I'm going to shower, get meal one in, talk about my diet and uh, bring you through the day. Give you the quick rundown of diet, what I was doing for the last six weeks. So week one, we started at 2,500 calories. Week two, 2,400 calories. Week three and week four, we stayed at 2,300 calories and uh, week five and six, we stayed at 2,200 calories. But for week six, what we actually started doing was having low calorie days and higher calorie days. So the goal was to have the net calories each day of 2,200 over the week by seven, two by four, 14, whatever, 15,000 ish calories or something in the week. And um, so the days that I wasn't training and the days that I couldn't get to the gym or that I knew my activity level would be a little bit lower, I brought my calories back. So I had days where I was only eating 1,600 calories. Then on other days where I knew I was training, I knew I was gonna be able to get a lot of cardio in, a lot of steps in, I would bump the calories up closer to 2,300, 2,400 and 500. And so I had those kind of higher and lower days last week, which I kind of like, which I was able to do quite easily. So on the days that I was, I was really able to pull back on some of the days. But now for these last six weeks, so as of last Saturday, so today is Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, so three days ago, we are exactly six weeks out to the day of the competition, the 29th. And so we have five proper weeks of dieting and then we have our peak week of like five, six days, so to, per se. So the plan for the next couple of weeks is for the next two weeks. So this week and next week, I'm gonna be eating 1,800 calories and I'm gonna put my macros and everything on the screen for you guys. The reason I'm going a little bit lower and I want to go a little bit lower than I can for the next two weeks. So this week, 100%, 1,800. Next week might change. I might even bring it down a little bit. Is because I have my birthday coming up on the 31st of May. And I am going to use that as a refeed day um, after those very, very low calories. And then on that one day where I eat roughly 4,000, 5,000 calories, that is then going to be very, I'm going to be very, very hard cutting then up until the last little stretch um, for the competition. So that is basically the plan. So 1,800 calories, meaning super, super high protein, carbs are down low, keeping fats to a bare minimum as I can. But the days that I am in work, things are going to fluctuate. And um, so I'm going to let my carbs and fats kind of hint go in between a little bit more. But um, I'm probably going to have to stop with those M&S meals. I'll see how we get on this week. Um, and I might have to just start bringing meals with me to work that are much lower in fat. So that is the kind of the plan. Just thought I'd give you the quick little rundown. Breakfast today, we are gonna be having um, 150 milliliters of egg whites that I got from Bulk Powders. It's super, super handy. I'll show you um, how many like little things I got of them um, in the kitchen, but it's just super, super handy. And then we're gonna get um, six turkey rashers as well. So starting off breakfast, just loads of protein. And um, just before I go train, I like 300-ish calories starting off. Um, right. So yeah. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
So breakfast down the hatch. I usually go and grab my uh, my creatine. So guys, this is what we're working with. This is where I keep my stash of all my bug powder shit. So like I said, if you want to get any of that shit, link in the description. That's what helps me out. And then my like um, my code is there as well. It was like more than twenty five. I can't remember. It's been so long since I fucking had that code. Creatine monohydrate. This is the best one, right? Apple and lime. Can you see that shit? Apple and lime. This shit tastes good. Ah. Now, gotta get my pre-workout. In that right, Shmoo. Pre-workout was a bit of summer berry. Not feeling it. Where will I go for the pump one? Watermelon flavor. What's this one? Not this one. Hmm. Fuck it. Let's go for this one. So this is just the complete pump pre-workout. I'm training some shoulders, chest, and arms today, so I kind of want to get a serious pump. Here's my link in the description. What do you know? These are my favorite flasks, beakers that I use. Huh. This is from Bulk, bulk Powders too. Oh shit, and the top is, yo. Link in the description. So we gotta get some ice. I got that water. I got that water. Go for one scoop. Oh shit, I spilled some. Get another half scoop in there. Oh! That's a pretty nice day. Check out my keys. Yeah, we good. So it's actually a pretty nice day. And we're on our way to the gym now. I'll be up here for a second. We're on our way to the gym now. Gonna be training some shoulders, arms, Delts, it's gonna be a good session. Bring you through it. Talk about cardio. I have questions. I always have questions. I like doing these. So, all these guys, if you watch these videos, leave comment sections. Leave questions in the comment section below, and I'll answer them in the videos to come as well. So, that is the plan right now. It's super, super sunny. I'm loving it. There's a little bumblebee nest just in there. They scare the shit out of me every time I walk by, but it's okay. It's okay. We got a fake taxi over there on that fucking car. <laughs> There's some shit being done in that, I know for sure. In other news, what else is happening in my life right now? I'm getting braids on Thursday. My day off is on Thursday, so I'm gonna do some shopping as well. You guys wanted like a longitude prep video, and um, so that's what I'll do. Like I'm just shopping for loads of clothes. So I'll do um, like a little mini version of that before longitude, I guess. Someone asked me, when's the bulk happening? Bitch, we're cutting right now. The fuck we talking about bulking for? <laughs> Did it take you long to find the best food that works for you? Let me pull myself up a little bit. Um, so in terms of the best food, I'm just strict when it comes to sticking to my calories. That's where I'm obviously good at cutting. And um, so in terms of food selection, most people, if you're just looking for body composition change, you don't have to be too overly healthy and too strict on it as long as you're sticking to your calories. However, I would recommend it just as an overall health benefit to just be a little bit more strict on your diet, eat a little bit healthier, a little bit cleaner. Um, when you're trying to cut, because your calories are already low enough as it is, so you may as well try get good whole foods in because the calories are low, it's gonna help out with your training more, you're gonna retain more muscle, you're gonna feel stronger, you're gonna feel better. Um, so that's what I would suggest. Um, but in terms of finding the best foods for you, whatever your food preferences are, um, and sometimes you're just gonna have to eat things that you don't really like that much that are going to get you to your goal, and that's just how it is. How can someone put on weight with a fast metabolism? I'm six foot and it's impossible to fill out. Um, so it's not impossible to, fizz out, to fill out. Your body does not defy the laws of physics to where if you eat more calories in than your body needs and is expending out, you will put on weight. It is a little bit harder, granted, because you're, go you're just going to have to eat 4,000 calories a day every day 
it sucks, but you're just gonna have to. And um, so what I would suggest is having meals that you find easy to eat, have a lot of them, and whether it's just like fucking peanut butter sandwiches, whether you find having those whey protein shakes easy to drink and they don't fill you up, little things like that, having a pack of jellies in your car that you just eat throughout the day, um, just those little things are gonna help you get to the calories, because for you it's just getting to the calories getting to the calories um, and that's kind of the main thing so if you're not getting there you can't expect to fill out and it's not because you have a crazy fast metabolism and most people don't have a crazy fast meta metabolism Right, yo, gym session is pretty much done. Gotta do a bit of cardio now. And I'm gonna do 450 calories worth of cardio. Um, and then I'm gonna head home and show you the rest of the meals that I have throughout the day. It was a pretty good session, to be fair. Like, it was decent. Um, because I had a couple of days off, so it was, it was good to just get back to the three things. But yeah, it was all right, so go get some cardio done. I did a bit of pose and practice um, just in here, but the battery is so close to dying on this, um, so I wanted to save it until I can get home, charge it. Um, so yeah, so you won't be able to see a bit of my posing, but they'll be in the videos um, to come. Right, so just back from the gym, little Shmoo here to greet me. How you doing? La uh, it's last meal, next meal, is I got a can of tuna, Calories are gonna be there. And I got one bag of rice, like 200 and something calories. And so I'm gonna combine those together, put a little bit of ketchup on it. That is gonna be the second meal of the day. And then we're gonna wait a good bit until the evening time, so roughly half eight, nine o'clock in the evening, then cook the last big meal that I'm gonna have um, before I go to bed. So those are, that's basically how I do my diet, that's how I eat. I either fast in the morning and have two bigger meals, so one after training and one um, in the evening time, or I have a small high protein breakfast, then something small high protein with a little bit of carbs, and then in the day, or in the evening time, I save all of my fats and my carbs to have a big, nice, satiating meal that I can enjoy um, in the evening time.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, is all the meals that I'm having for today. If you did enjoy this video, guys, please be sure to leave a like rating down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Mocha fam, stay saucy. Hold tight.